Game Breaker TV. This break is brought to you by Storm Legion. For more information about Rift's new expansion, head over to riftgame.com. Guild Wars 2 players are noticing that legendary items have arrived on the trading post for the first time. Now these items are selling for thousands of gold, but it brings up the question, should they actually be available on the trading post at all? I think popular theory suggested that these items would be soul bound or account bound, and apparently they are only account bound once you actually equip them and use them. Um, this brings up a lot of arguments from other players about, is this now pay to win? Now, technically, I don't think anything in Guild Wars 2 is, is pay to win. Uh, these items you know, don't have higher statistics than other weapons. You can spend a couple gold and buy an exotic weapon off the trading post or craft one yourself, and it will have the same statistical value as a legendary. But they do look really cool, and they do offer a, a lot of prestige, and it starts to bring up the question, should these items be available on the trading post? Now, of course, amassing several thousands of gold is no, uh, is no small feat. You'd have to spend a lot of time in game uh, earning that coin or spend a lot of real world cash in order to purchase that much gold. But uh, it does bring up the question, should they be allowed um, on the trading post at all? Should they be something that is bound to the account that created them or should it be available? If you have that much uh, money and you're, or you're willing to spend that much money on the game, should these items be something that you can obtain? Let me know what you feel in the comments below. The community is talking about this at great length now. Um, I personally feel like that the legendary is, is a prestige that you should have to accomplish yourself, whether this is something that you amass and farm all of these items you know, yourself or whether it's some sort of epic journey that, you know, Arena has said that there's going to be some legendaries put in that are more of a scavenger hunt feel. I feel like you should earn it yourself. Now, granted, you can spend a lot of gold or a lot of real life money on gold and actually have a much easier time getting the legendaries if you do that. You know, if you farm up all the materials yourself, that's one way to get them. But you can also just buy all the materials if you have all that gold. So one could make the argument that, you know, buying it from the trading post is no different than buying most of the materials on the auction house. Like, you can buy the legendary precursor. You can buy the ectoplasm. You can buy a lot of these rare um, materials. So is that really so different? You can argue that. I personally feel like, it might not be much different, but it kind of it kind of takes away some of the feeling like, all right, did that person just buy that legendary right from the trading post, or did they, you know, make make all of the items that they needed? Did they make all the gifts that they needed to in order to acquire it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Lots of people are upset about this. Lots of people talking about what should they do, and lots of people actually surprised that they were able to put them up on the trading post at all. That a lot of people thought that it was going to be a, a bug of some sort. But in any case, let me know what you think. Legendaries should they be on the trading post or should they stay off the trading post uh, let me know and don't forget to stay tuned into game breaker for all your guild wars 2 news and don't forget to watch guildcast every single wednesday night at 6 p.m pacific take care everybody